In a previous video, we saw that we could view 2 thirds times 6 as whatever number is 2 thirds of the way to 6 on the number line, which we saw as 4. Or another way to think about it is that 4 is 2 thirds of 6. 2 thirds times 6 can be viewed as, well, what gets me if I, how many do I have if I take 2 thirds of 6? Now what we want to do now is apply that same idea, but to multiplying not a fraction times a whole number, but a fraction times a fraction. So let's say that we wanted to take 3 fourths, 3 fourths, and multiply it by, and multiply it by 1 half. And we know, of course, this is the exact same thing. The order that we multiply doesn't matter. This is the exact same thing as 1 half times 3 fourths. 1 half times 3 fourths. So to imagine where this gets us, let's draw ourselves a number line. So let's, this is 0, and I'll do it pretty large so that we have some space to work in. So that's 0, and then that is 1, and of course our line could keep on going. And let's first imagine 3 fourths times 1 half as 3 fourths of the way to 1 half. So first let's plot 1 half on our number line. Well, 1 half is literally halfway between 0 and 1. So that's 1 half right over there. And how do we think about 3 fourths of the way to 1 half? Well, what we could do is think about, well, what's a fourth of 1 half? Well, we could divide this part of the number line into four equal sections. So that's two equal sections. Now that's four equal sections. And while we're at it, let's divide all of the halves into four equal sections. So let's divide all of the halves into four equal sections. So that's four sections. And now let's do this one. I'm trying my best to draw them equal sections. So I've, I've taken each of the halves and I've made them into four equal sections. So this, this distance right over here, this gets us, or this point right over here, is one fourth of one half. But that's not what we care about. We want to get to three fourths of one half. So we want to get to one, two, three fourths of one half. So this point right over here, this is literally. 3 fourths, 3 fourths times 1 half. And this is, of course, 1 half here. But what number is this? We can now visualize it on the number line. And let me do this in a new color. We can now visualize it on the number line. But what number is this actually? Well, a big clue is, is that, well, before we had the, the section between 0 and 1 divided into two equal sections, when we only had to plot 1 half, but then we took each of those two equal sections and then split them into four more sections. So each of these, each of these we, by doing that, we now essentially have divided the section between 0 and 1 into eight equal sections. So each of these is actually 1 eighth. So this point right over here is 1 eighth. This is 2 eighths. And then this is 3 eighths. And that's, that's in line with what we've seen about multiplying fractions before. This should be equal to 3 times 1 times 1 over 4, 4 times 2. 4 times 2, which is equal to 3 eighths, which is equal to 3 eighths. And everything that we're talking about, this all so we don't get confused, this is all referring to this point right over here on the number line. This point right over here. But what if we thought about it the other way around? What if we thought about it as 1 half of the way to 3 fourths? So we could divide the, the, the space between 0 and 1 into fourths. So let's do that. So that is 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths. So this right over here is the number 3 fourths, and we want to go half of the way to 3 fourths. Well, what is half of the way to 3 fourths? Well, we split this section into two equal sections. So we could split right over there. We could split right over here. And we want to go exactly one of those sections. One half of 3 fourths gets us, once again, right over here to this point. 3 eighths. So either way you imagine it, whether you're essentially taking 3 fourths of 1 half or saying, I'm going to go 3 fourths of the way to 1 half, or you say, I'm going to go 1 half of the way to 3 fourths, either way, hopefully it now makes conceptual sense. You can visualize it. And it makes numeric sense that this is going to be equal to 3 eighths.